What's going on guys, Derek Jackson here, and today I am joined by my lovely wife, Denea, and we just wanted to address a couple of things. You know, we understand that some of you may have already heard, maybe not, um, that this chapter of our marriage is one that was preceded by a marriage that I completely failed. And I would say it just started around August, maybe September of last year. But, you know, a lot has been said already about what was the cause and all that other stuff. Some of it is true. Some of it is completely false. But the truth is, and I'm saying it here now, is that Derek Jackson was involved with other women outside the marriage. So the same way that I preach, you know, men and women in this situation need to face consequences of their actions, um, deserve to be held accountable. Guess what? Derek Jackson's no exemption. He, he, he's not exempt from that. I'm also not a victim. Um, nobody made me do this. Uh, she didn't make me or push me to do it. The next person didn't make me. No friend influenced me. It don't matter how I was raised and what trauma, whatever. Look, I made decisions. I made a series of decisions that I got, I got to account for. There's no excuse or justification. I've already made that bet and have, have had to lie in it. Um, and now we're finally getting on to the other side personally in our own healing and our own marital oneness. Um, and now this is being made public to you guys. So we're bringing that forth to you guys to let you know where we're at with that. But did you want to say anything? Um, yes. Yeah, so I do want to just add that I agree with what he just said. There is no justification for bringing other women into our marriage on any level. When I found out about it, I left. I did not hesitate or waste time to do so. And I stayed gone no matter how many times he came. I stayed gone and stood firm on I am not coming back. And I did not come back until I seen a shift and a change in his mentality. So there's nothing out there right now that is information that I don't already know about or haven't known about. Um, and so this is not something that uh, is new. <laughs> we have uh, moved forward from it. We have gotten counsel for, for it and continue to do so. He is still continuing to pursue God and continuing to seek guidance and, and wise counsel from um, men of God. So today where I'm at is at peace and I proudly stand by his side and I have no hesitation. I have no hurt, no shame about that. We have already turned a new chapter in this story. Um, we are continu continuing to move forward and we are just now sharing that with you. I forgave him and most importantly, God has first forgiven him and I also forgive the others as well. And with that, we are free and moving forward. So Absolutely. that's all I have. If you get nothing else from what I've ever said over the last nine years or right here in this video, please get this. Nothing is right until it is right with God. Mm -hmm. Nothing works until it comes into alignment with biblical standard of how God told us to do things, especially when we're talking about a marital, spiritual, uh, spiritual covenant. Yes. You know, you cannot do this by your own understanding, your own intelligence, no. your own willpower, your own values. You have to have the grace of God uh, to break free from certain things, to stay away from certain things, uh, to not operate from your lowest self, whatever it may be. So when I looked in the comments of this video, I don't know if old boy was trolling or not, but he said, D, I think I want to see a reaction to this video. So let's do it. And by the way, I'm going to speak in third person. Um, a lot of you already seen this, but this is Derek Jackson. Um, a lot of people think of him as a relationship expert and guru and all of that. Well, he and his wife are making this video because apparently at some point in their marriage or maybe even beforehand in the relationship, he didn't take his own advice and he stepped out and he got involved with other women, as you heard them say. Now, upon first impression, nothing really stuck out to me about him, but more so about the wife. Like I heard her say that she stands with her husband. She's proud to love him. Um, I heard her say that, you know, this is some time ago. They've already processed this, overcame this, dealt with this a long time ago and nothing's really new to her but just by her body language I was really wondering like did he force her to do this video like she looks super uncomfortable like she doesn't want to be there but then I watched their live chat that they did right afterwards and you know I kind of caught that this is just a part of her personality so that kind of explains somewhat of her demeanor you know she clearly has a mind of her own if you saw the live chat too and she said that the live chat even was her idea um, so with that cool she wants to stand by her husband she feels like he's worth it she has that right now, as far as what he said, I understand and I, and I completely applaud him taking accountability because too many times we see dudes and they got this sob story about how they was raised and you know they broken home and the goldfish died and they never seen a marriage and all that. He didn't do that. He just took accountability. But I hope he understands 
that all the accountability in the world is not going to rebuild broken trust not on a personal level and even with the public that he's addressing like even his most loyal supporters at this point will probably have a raised eyebrow from this point forward whenever he wants to condemn another man for something like this and, and rightfully so so hopefully he understands that and i also thought it was very intriguing how he brought in god at the end you know i don't really hear him speak like that so you know do it god's way or else it's going to fail now if i saw that a couple of years ago I honestly would have called BS. I honestly would have been like, nah, dude, like you can't use God as a scapegoat, you know, as if you not having Jesus is why you did what you did. Like if Jesus was there with you when you was with those other women, Jesus would have zipped up your zipper for for you. That's that's not how it worked. Like, who are you kidding? But now I have a relationship with God for myself. So I hear things a little bit differently. And what I heard whenever he said that was that, you know, when you go into a godly commitment, which marriage is supposed to be, you can't lean on your own understanding. You can't do it by yourself. You can't do it by your own willpower, your own good intentions and vows and love for a person. If you go into a godly commitment, you have to lean on God. You have to do things like to God's standard. You have to rely on God's grace. That's the only way you're going to be able to do it for the long term. And that I can personally relate to. Now, regardless, whether you like them, love them, or hate them, I think this is a great example as to why we don't need to be putting anybody on the pedestal. Nobody. And I think a lot of women did that. And I'm not even going to say it's the women's fault by themselves because this dude, he never really showed his struggle. You know, we understand, oh, we're all humans and we all make mistakes, but he never showed those mistakes. Not for real. I think he wrote about it or something like that, but he never showed that side. So it's not really all on the women, but I've seen a lot of women put this dude on the pedestal to the point of idealizing him and even comparing their man to him. Like they'll compare their man's good, bad and ugly whole story to Derek Jackson's snippet. You know, which is of course a, a standard nobody can meet consistently. That's like a dude taking a picture of another woman who's in shape and she got a four pack and you know, she just beautiful and all of that stuff and her body's just super tight and him comparing his woman to that woman because his woman got a couple extra pounds from having the baby. Meanwhile, he don't know that woman in the picture may not even be able to have children. She may be struggling with that and, and coping with it by working out two, three times a day. She may have an unhealthy body image and that's why she works out obsessively and consistently and looks so good. Like you don't know, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think it's healthy. I don't think it's wise to ever idealize somebody or compare them. Like not only because somebody can be living a double life, which I don't think is quite the case here, according to his wife behind the scenes without anybody knowing, of course, this part ain't gonna blow up, but he's been putting in the work to kind of reconstruct where that all had been broken since last year. So I don't think it's a double life thing, but you don't know what struggle somebody has behind the scenes. You don't know their shortcomings. You don't know where they're falling short. So it's just not wise to compare you know, on any level. Nonetheless, I know some people will see this type of video, even though he's come forward and he's been completely honest. Um, some people just gonna close the book on D. Some people gonna close the book on this dude and say, you know what, I'm done with you, cancel you, cancel culture, come here. I'm more so on the side of his wife and just basically letting this be a new chapter of how I see him. Because I do believe that his content over the years has helped a tremendous amount of people. You know, he tells the truth, he speaks facts. And quite honestly, I'm gonna be real with y'all, I've needed several new chapters in my own life, Lord knows. And I'm not ashamed to say it, but I'm no guru. Those are just my thoughts. Y'all let me know what you think down in the comments. And by the way, he has a book detailing how he and his wife overcame all of this in their private lives a long time ago, matter of fact. It's called Heal Together Without Hurting Each Other. So if you're in a situation like this, you wanna let God in to totally restore it better than new, um, click the link down in the bio or up in the bio in the caption. I got a 50% off deal for you guys who are watching this video right now. But yeah, let me know what you think down in the comments. I'll let y'all later, y'all be good. Peace.